These are these Bouge RV 16 BB bifacial panels. We're getting ready to stick up there and see how they do. Boxes taped together, but they just slide right out. Yeah, I think they slide out. I'll help you, but I don't, I don't want to get in the way. Well, you're fine. Right you're okay. You're okay, but you're soft. It always comes back to the same Okay. Face down. Well, I like that frame is nice and seems to be nice and robust. Mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, it's, it seems like it'd be a little thicker material than the last ones. Yeah. We're here. Got protective we film on the edge of it, too. Yeah. yeah. We'll take it off, leave it on. Uh, well, for right now, we can leave it on for a little bit while we put our brackets back on. Uh, why don't you, is my tape measure laying over there? Yeah. Would you go ahead and get a, a width and a length? It is. 30 and 1 8 okay. by 51 and 9 16 51 and 9 16 by 30 and 1 8 yep okay yep 30 and 1 8 all right I really like uh, this this frame seems nice and robust And I like the way, well, are these, or are these just protectors here? Do they come off these corner pieces? No, I think they're on there. Yeah, we'll, we'll know for sure if we turn yeah. up. up yeah, they're the molded. They're, they're molded on onto on it, bottom. that's all part well, of it. You can get them off, but I think they're intended to stay. Okay, yeah. yeah, we'll know more when we turn them over. Okay, do you mind if we turn it over for a little bit so they can see the other side? And then we'll turn them back over and start mounting the bracket on them. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah. These are the six. 16 bus bars per cell. 16 per cell. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And of course they're bifacial on top Bouge of that. RV. Bouge From Bouge RV. RV. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see how these things perform. Yeah, those corner pieces are molded in. Yeah, they're, mm -hmm. like, they're part of it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Thing's stout. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. Alrighty, we're going to mount the brackets on now and, and uh, see what's involved in getting them up there on top. I think it's steel. Now, they're almost plugged. Yeah, I'll have to cipher all that out here in a little bit. We just want to get a measurement on the length of these. Uh, Cables. These Looks like about three foot. I was gonna say these are about three foot. Okay. Estimating. Need me to hold it for you. Thirty-five and a half. Thirty-five and a half, and that's to the tip of the. To the tip of both connectors. Yeah. Okay. All righty, mighty fun. All right, everybody, we got the panels installed and uh, came out really nice. I'll show you that here in a little bit, but first I want to show you the beautiful view we have uh, this morning, looking out over Beaver Lake here. Absolutely beautiful today. Uh, we had some stormy weather uh, a couple of days ago, and uh, anyway, after it all blew away, now we've got this, and it's just gorgeous today. It's going to get up into the uh, mid to upper 60s, and uh, very little wind. Uh, with all the rain we had, the lake's starting to come up. But anyway, let's talk about these panels here. And we got them installed. Let me get this thing up here in the air so you can see them. But there you go. Now these are 
Bouge RVs, 200 watt panels. These are bifacial. It is what they call their Topcon series. Uh, this is the N-Type Topcon series. They have, it's a 16 BB, which stands for 16 bus bars per cell up there. Of course, you've already got the measurements, the actual measurements, uh, when we unbox them and everything. And uh, they also come in a, uh, these are a 200 watt, they also come in a 100 watt, watt version. And they also come, let me get this thing down here. <laughs> uh, they also come in uh, in a 12 volt configuration and a 24 volt you can get them either way and these are the 12 volt versions here that we have on top now I do have them wired in series and uh, I got two measurements this morning but what I did first just to make sure that the charge controller would be uh, going at full bore uh, I disconnected the panels from the system in the van. Oh yeah, a lot of you don't know about the system that I have in the van. Let me show you that right quick. Some of you are familiar because you've been following along, but we're in the process of building a 600 amp hour uh, system in the van and we can actually plug the trailer into it. In fact, we've already done a video where we did plug the trailer into it. And what I did last night in order to bring the, uh, because they were at 100%, the batteries were 100%, the whole system was, in order to bring it down, we uh, plugged in the trailer to the system last night and let it run for about three hours. And it took about three hours to bring it down from 100% to 86%. And to hurry it along, we even turned on the water heater and some other uh, big power draw items to uh, to hurry it along. But yet it still took about three hours to bring it down to 85%. But uh, you can see where I've got a 30 amp outlet right here and my little breaker box right there. But we'll get into more of that uh, later. And it is an ongoing process with this. We are not done with it yet. We aren't ready to start using it on a very regular basis yet. So let me reassure everyone that there are gonna be a few little changes made and a few little improvements made. But anyway, that's what we have back here. So what we did in order to bring it down, like I said, we uh, disconnected the panels from it and uh, plugged everything into the trailer. Still took about three hours to bring it down to 85%. And then this morning, I flipped the panels back on and came out here. And this is probably the worst time of the year to give you a reading of uh, what these panels can do. But, uh, and I'm going over here because I want you to see the kind of shadow that we're casting right now. Uh, you know, today is uh, November the 6th, 5th or 6th anyway. It's right, th right in there. So, uh, you know, the sun is over there. <laughs> it's not directly overhead. And while I was over here, I went ahead and did a test. I went ahead to see how many watts we were pulling. And uh, all together, uh, we were getting around 230 watts, you know, at the angle that we have going on here. So when you consider 230 watts and where the sun is, uh, man, you just can't... Uh, can't argue with that whatsoever right now, depending because of where the sun is. But let me show you that shadow one more time. This is what we're dealing with, but yet I was still pulling 230 watts out of those panels. So anyway, we're we're really excited about how this is going to work out. Uh, being bifacial, what we also intend to do. Let me get this back up here a little bit, and I apologize for not taking the van down and washing the roof but we have a reflective uh, coating that we're going to be painting on the roof of the van here which should also help with the reflective part uh, you know because the whole idea behind bifacial panels is not only do you draw power from on top but you draw power from the reflective uh, 
reflective rays that can bounce off of whatever surface you're mounted on and uh, you know and pick up more power from the bottom side of the panels as well so that is the theory behind it and of course we'll be you know double checking these from time to time and we also intend to eventually have two more of these panels on top I can actually get a total of four of these on top which uh, we intend to do uh, in short order uh, and we're also going to raise them a little bit higher because of the adjustments we have here we can also raise them a little bit higher uh, so that we can get maybe a little bit more reflective energy off of the roof as well on sunshiny days so uh, anyway uh, we're really really tickled that we have these panels and we intend to get two more like I say eventually uh, they're going to be having some specials on Black Friday and there's also a discount code which I'll have flashed up on the screen so you can take a look at that and use that discount code for an, a discount as well so uh, anyway I don't know what else to say other than yes Bouge RV did send these to me and uh, we have a good relationship with Bouge RV and hope to continue with that relationship but uh, we've always had good success with their products as well can't not argue with that whatsoever but uh, there'll be more more coming down the pike as far as these panels are concerned anyway this is Bill with I Ride Tiny House Adventures you know what I'm gonna say we're not camping we're living and you all need to get out there and do some living too and we will see you again soon bye bye now